Hey, Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Right, so today we're working on this roof. And we got some rust spots over here. And what I'm using is this. Uh, this, this will work for a couple of months in, in the dry season. It's just a temporary kind of thing. But uh, ideally what you'd want to do is replace any metal with metal and then seal it. That had a big rust spot on it, and I went over it with this stuff here. Um, this was not leaking. Uh, so, that area over there was leaking, and this over area here was leaking. So, let's see, that's the deli department. This one over here was leaking before. That one there was leaking at one point, but it quit leaking. And then I sprayed the black seal on it. These skylights are kind of rusty. So this one here was actually leaking here. And ideally what you want to do is clean this up a little bit before you put this on. Uh, basically, you can see it's pretty well, it's pretty well cleaned up. Um, I mean, there's no cracks in it or anything, and it was leaking kind of like right, right here on this area here. And ideally, what you want to do is you want to get those screws and cover those screws up. Uh, this is just going to be temporary fix. I mean, if you want to do it the right way, you're going to have to pull that, pull those screws up and put new screws in it. Uh, and so, yeah. This is just temporary, kind of the economical, get you by for a few months, kind of thing. This is actually probably the third coat here. We had quite a bit of problem with that area over there, which quit, it finally quit. And so, yeah, that's that area over there had probably like four different coats. I went over it with uh, the big stuff I patched with regular roof patch and then I uh, got the flex seal on it and then may have went over it again with this stuff here. Uh, so yeah, this, this one here actually hasn't been giving us much problem but if you got some dry weather and a few hours of dry, uh, dry weather, this stuff will dry fairly hard. If it dries on this brush, it will dry brittle. So, uh, yeah, that area there, yeah, we, we had some leaks, but it quit leaking. So, I think we're good with this. This tends to pool water, and so it's kind of tricky to do. Um, so, we had uh, leaks in this area, and the thing is, is that... Uh, the skylights are kind of rusted. Uh, this was actually not leaking at all. We have an area in here, this area here, almost where the my glove is, that has a leak that I couldn't figure out. And these seams here, see these seams here, they have cracks in them. Now I've gone over this with this, and these are actually rusty. So this is probably where it's coming from. Um, at these connections where it's rusty and you can see the cracks these cracks uh, so this is like the second recent coat on this and these cracks the cracks just keep coming up you know like this crack here it just keeps coming up no matter how many coats I put on it um, but yeah so the leak right around here somewhere and it, it gets supposedly it's pretty bad I haven't I haven't watched it in the rain but you can see these I just put a coat on this 15 minutes ago and it and the cracks keep coming out but this this area right here I don't suspect any problem with but we still have these kind of cracks that we have to deal with um, and just as long as you have you can go over it a few times and uh, you've got a few hours of sun, sun, or at least a few hours of dry time. Uh, like I said, when this stuff dries, if I don't wash it off this brush, it will dry on this brush brittle. Uh, and 
you know, this stuff, it's called, what's it called? It comes, it smooths on really good, really easily. And as long as you get it dry, it's going to hold for, and I would say it would hold for a while. And then what I usually do is I go over it with Flex Seal and then maybe another coat of this. Uh, this is just the MacGyver technology in my world. So, yeah, we don't actually have any leaks over in this area. It's supposedly right in this area here that we have leaks. And there's really not too much here. Not too much at all. So, I mean, it could be, you know, these seams here. Um, what I do is I'll take the scotch bright and clean it up a little bit as much as I can and this stuff here sticks fairly well um, it sticks to about anything you can see it's sticking all over my hands so and that I've been over two times two or three times and supposedly I, I can't see where that comes inside the building so I don't know um, that's a problem or not but the only thing near the leaking areas are these so according to that skylight we've got a leak in this area here so I, I, I it's kind of hard to figure out because what happens is when it leaks the, the water will meander it will meander off in a different area so and then all these here and we saw it leaking over here you can see I've been over it white again with the flex seal um, after that that's all been dried overnight and then I went over it again with the flex seal and I may hit that air conditioner again because it was leaking by the air conditioner before okay so, so this stuff here you could probably use just regular white spray paint with this stuff here is what I've been using and basically there was a stain there I covered it up you can see the outline of the stain here's another one pretty badly stained just painted it I mean if you look at it closely you can definitely see the stain but if you don't look too close you just kind of like walking around the room you know you don't it's not like blaring this one here I got it I'm gonna shake this stuff good I'm just gonna go over it and I kind of go around the outline of it so it kind of blends in. This one here. Looks pretty bad, that one. I wasn't, wasn't going to cut another one for this, but you get the idea. And this stuff does stink, so you need air. You need air in the room, so yeah. That's what you can do for leak problems. So, huh, that's another day in the life of a handyman. Don't try this at home. If this has been a video for informational purposes only, consult a professional. And thanks for watching guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And this video helped you out. You can send me a donation, Bills Enterprises, PO Box 7021, Eureka, California 95502. Although I'd never, I've been doing this probably five, or eight years I never got anyone send me a donation I uh, actually had one donation in seven years They're like 35 bucks man I'm I'm I'm, uh, I'm paying the bills you know at this point so yeah have a good day guys